how many marbles they had in the pingle so now the solution let the number of marbles let the number of marbles john had is equal to x then the number of marbles jivanti had will be 45 minus x because it is given that initially the total number of marbles was 45 so if john had x then uh, jivanti will have uh, 45 minus x now then they both of them lost five marbles each so now the number of marbles of john now the number of marbles of john is equal to x minus 5 and the number of marbles of jivanti is equal to 45 minus x minus 5 that is 40 minus x and now the question says that now their product is 124 that means x minus 5 into 40 minus x is equal to 124 clear now what happens if you open the bracket 40x minus x square minus 200 plus 5x is equal to 124 so minus x square plus 45x minus 200 minus 124 is equal to 0 minus x square plus 45x minus 324 is equal to 0 now you multiply the whole equation by negative sign so it will be x square minus 45x plus 324 is equal to 0 so now you can see the equation that we have obtained is a quadratic equation that means uh, in daily life we face such situations when we get uh, quadratic equations and now I'll tell you how to solve the quadratic equation so we will solve this equation later so i'll write it here Solving a quadratic equation by factorization. Now suppose, suppose we have uh, one equation of the form x square 
minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. So as the highest power of x is 2, so it's a quadratic equation. Now you have already factorized such expressions by splitting the middle term. So what we do, as there is a number 6 and there is a positive sign in front of it. So you have to think of two numbers whose product should be 6 and whose sum. Why sum? Because there is a positive sign. If there is a negative sign, then there's, it should be difference. So as there is a positive sign, so the, the product of two numbers should be 6 and the sum should be 5. So it's very easy that it should be 3 and 2 because 3 into 2 is 6 and 3 plus 2 is 5. So x square minus in place of 5 you write down 3 plus 2. That's all. No other change. If you open the bracket x square minus 3x minus 2x plus 6 is equal to 0. Now from the first two term, terms x can be taken as common. And from the next two terms minus 2 can be taken as common. Now x minus 3 can be taken common. And in the other bracket we have x minus 2. Now, if the product of two numbers is equal to 0, then either the first one is equal to 0 or the second one equal to 0 because you know the product of two non-zero numbers can never be equal to 0. So, if the product of two expressions is equal to 0, one has to be 0. So, if x minus 3 is equal to 0, then x is equal to 3. If x minus 2 is equal to 0 then x is equal to 2. Roots of the equation are 3 and 2. Okay. So roots of this equation are 3 and 2. Now one more question. Suppose x square minus 5x minus 6 is equal to 0. Now you see this equation and this equation they are almost the same the only difference here it is positive there it is negative. Now as there is a negative sign in front of the constant term so now you have to think of two numbers whose product is 6 but whose difference is 5 because there is a negative sign. So it's very important to observe whether it is a positive sign or a negative sign accordingly we have to decide for the numbers now as there is a negative sign I repeat you have to think of two numbers whose product is 6 and whose difference should be 5 so it is nothing but 6 and 1 so you write down x square minus in place of 5 you write down 6 minus 1 now you open the bracket x square minus 6x plus x minus 6 is equal to 0. From these two you take x common, so it is x minus 6. From these two you simply write x minus 6. So x minus 6 in one bracket, x plus 1 in the other bracket. So x is equal to 6 and x is equal to minus 1. I'm sorry, you will write if x minus 6 is equal to 0 then x is equal to 6. If x plus 1 is equal to 0 then x is equal to minus 1 and now the roots of the equation are 6 and minus 1 you can see the roots are 6 and minus 1 Clear? Now, one more question. Okay, before uh, 
doing the next question check whether x minus 2 whole square plus 1 is equal to 2x minus 3 is a quadratic equation or not check whether this is a quadratic equation you have to check whether this equation is a quadratic equation or not so for that what we do first of all x minus 2 square plus 1 is equal to 2x minus 3 here we will apply the identity a minus b whole square you know that a minus b whole square is a square plus b square minus 2ab like this plus 1 is equal to 2x minus 3. So the identity that we have applied over here a minus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square minus 2ab. So it is x square plus 4 minus 4x plus 1 minus 2x plus 3 is equal to 0. So it is x square minus 4x minus 2x gives you minus 6x. Now 4 plus 1, 5, 5 plus 3, 8 plus 8 is equal to 0. So you can see after solving the equation is definitely a quadratic equation. You can see that. So your answer will be yes. Check whether x into x plus 1 plus 8 is equal to x plus 2 into x minus 2 is a uh, is a quantity now x into x plus 1 plus 8 is equal to x plus 2 into x minus 2 now first of all you open this bracket so x into x x square plus x plus 8 is equal to here we can apply the identity a plus b into a minus b all of you know that a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square so it is x square minus 2 square uh, we have applied a plus b into a minus b is equal to a square minus b square. Now you see this x square is cancelled. So and 2 square will be 4. When you bring 4 to this side then it will be plus 4. So x plus 12 is equal to 0. And now you can see x plus 12 is equal to 0 is a linear equation not a quadratic equation. So, your answer is no. No, it is not a quadratic equation. It is a linear equation. Clear?
solve 6x square minus x minus 2 is equal to 0 by factorization solve 6x square minus x minus 2 is equal to 0 by factorization now what we do 6x square minus x minus 2 is equal to 0 when the coefficient of x square is not 1 in all other examples that we have done till now the coefficient of x square was 1 but when the coefficient of x square is not equal to 1 like here it is 6 then what we have to do first you multiply this 6 and 2 so you know that 6 into 2 is 12 so now you have to look for two numbers whose product is 12 and as it is a negative sign here I told you the difference should be 1 because the coefficient of x is 1 I repeat here the coefficient of x square is 6 coefficient of x is 1 and the constant term is 2 first of all you multiply 6 and 2 so 6 and 2 is 12 now as there is a negative sign here you have to look for two numbers whose product is 12 and whose difference is equal to the coefficient of x that is 1 so the numbers are 4 and 3 so you write down 6x square minus instead of 1 you write down 4 minus 3 into x minus 2 is equal to 0 so 6x square minus 4x plus 3x minus 2 is equal to 0 okay now from the first two terms we can take 2x common and next two terms you can write directly because nothing is common now 3x minus 2 you can take common so in the other bracket you will have 2x plus 1 now if 3x minus 2 is equal to 0 then 3x is equal to 2 x will be equal to 2 by 3 if 2x plus 1 is equal to 0 then 2x is equal to minus 1 x is equal to minus 1 upon 2 so the roots of the equation are 2 by 3 and 2 minus 1 by 2 2 by 3 and minus 1 upon 2. They are the values of x or the roots of the equation. Okay, now while explaining quadratic equation, we face this quadratic equation x square minus 45 plus x plus 324 is equal to 0. And now suppose we want to solve it by factorization. As there is a positive sign here, so you have to look for two numbers whose product is 324 and whose sum should be 45. Now when the numbers are slightly bigger, it is 
difficult to do with them orally then what we do you just find the prime factors of 324 like this now you see 2 to the 4 4 to the 12 12 3 to the 36 and 3 into 3 is 9 so the numbers are 36 and 9 because when you multiply 36 and 9 you will get 324 and 36 plus 9 is 45 so x square minus in place of 45 you write down 36 plus 9 now When you open the bracket from the first two terms you take x common from the next two terms you take minus 9 common now x minus 36 in one bracket x minus 9 in the other bracket now if x minus 36 is equal to 0 x is equal to 36 if x minus 9 is equal to 0 x is equal to 9 clear so 36 and 9 are the answers of uh, values of x or the roots now you see that means if the number of marbles of john is 36 then the number of marbles of jivanti will be 9 and if the number of marbles of john is 9 then the number of marbles of jivanti will be 36 means out of the two, one is having 36 marbles and the other 9 marbles. That is the answer. Clear? So, in this way, we can solve the quadratic equations. I hope it is clear to you. So, next class, we will continue with few more questions based on quadratic equations. Okay?